How's it going everybody? Welcome to Face the Music's beginning drum video. My name is Patrick and in this video we're going to be walking through the really basic stuff just at the very beginning. This is for people who've never played before. You just got yourself a drum kit, just picked up some sticks. So we're going to run through the beginning stuff. Today we're just going to talk about your hands. Uh, this video is going to be in two parts. The second part will be on the kit. What we're going to do right now though is just going to be on the practice pad, get some stick control stuff going, some hand stuff and you'll be ready for when you sit down to play on the actual set. Okay? So the grip itself is pretty easy to get down. You're gonna rest your thumb along the top of the stick, so your thumb's pointing at the ceiling. This isn't the way you're gonna play, but this is the way we're gonna learn the grip. All right, so your thumb's alongside. Your first finger's gonna curl in, and the stick just rests in the crook of your first finger there. So your thumb comes down, the stick's kind of here in your palm, coming across. All right? So Thumb on the top, finger comes around, your other three fingers come into your palm, and they're just there for support right now. You're not actually holding on to the stick with these fingers. They're just there to cradle it, keep it from going anywhere. Every now and then you'll see people play with their pinkies off the stick, and I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, they're just, for me, there there just isn't an argument in favor of it. You know, your fourth finger's there, you might as well use it. It's extra support. And when you go to learn finger control, it helps to have your fourth finger available. Um, so just use all three of your other fingers. And this is the grip itself. It's just your thumb and your forefinger. These other three fingers are for support. But use them all, because that gets your whole hand going. Okay? So thumb to the ceiling, finger comes around, other three fingers for support, and just do the exact same thing in both hands. Okay? So before you do anything else, just make sure you've got that grip happening. You're not making a fist, you're not tight, you're not squeezing into the sticks. You don't want to hold any extra tension in your hands. The sticks are just resting there. They should be able to move pretty freely in your palms. Okay? So once you get that grip loaded up and it's correct, then you're going to turn your palms to the floor. We're going to play palms down. All right? And then the tips of your sticks come in to make a triangle. Like if the tips of the sticks met, they would literally form a triangle. We're not going to do that. But that's the angle that you want. Okay, you got straight across, you're out. Just the way your arms would naturally rest at your sides, that's what the sticks are going to do. Okay? And you want to have the sticks come a few inches off the top of the head. This is called home position. All right, so you want the sticks in home position. Your shoulders are down, they're relaxed, your arms are relaxed. You don't want your elbows in to your body because that puts you in a really weird position like you're a Tyrannosaurus Rex trying to play the drums. Uh, but on the other hand, you don't want to go too far and get like the chicken wing thing going. So just sit the way you'd ordinarily would. You don't have to be like totally ramrod straight, but be relaxed. You know, be comfortable, be loose. You don't want any extra tension anywhere in your body, in your chest, or in your arms. That's going to make it really hard to play. Okay? So once you have all that down, the second thing you want to do, and this is almost as important as having a good grip, is you want to find what's called the balancing point on the stick. And that's the spot where the stick will re rebound off of the head. You'll get the most response out of the stick. When I throw the stick to the head, it's going to bounce off. And if I don't impede the motion of the stick, it would just keep twirling and hit the wall behind me. All right? So you want the sticks come bouncing right up off the head um, because we're going to use that energy of the stick coming off of the head. That bounce returns the stick to home position. You don't bring your hand down and then up, you know, like you're a toy robot. The stick reacts from the head. That bounce, that spring back is what returns the sticks to their home position. So that's half of your stroke is the rebound, is getting that bounce. So really those are the two big important things right now. Learn the correct grip and find the balancing point on your stick, and once you do that, you're pretty much ready to go. All right, and there's a bunch of little exercises at the beginning that you can walk through. Uh, one of the easiest, and the one that you get the most out of, I think, is starting off playing what's called a paradiddle. And a paradiddle is a rudiment. Rudiments are just basic, you know, drum vocabulary, patterns for your sticks and things like that. And a paradiddle is just two single strokes and then a double stroke, okay? So a single stroke in your right hand, single stroke in the left hand, and then a double stroke in your right hand. Okay, and then you're just gonna flip that, lead with your left hand, single, single, double, okay? So what that's gonna sound like is this. Okay, 
That's Paradiddle. And the rudiments all have goofy names that you can say along with what you're playing. So Paradiddle, Paradiddle. Say that along with what you're playing. And if you notice, the, the strokes are very fluid. I'm not stiff. I'm letting my wrists do most of the work. Okay? And that's the reason we play palms down is because this is the way your wrist moves naturally. It's up and down as opposed to side to side. If I'm playing with my thumbs facing the ceiling, my hand kind of, it can't move in the natural way. This is the way your wrist moves most naturally. So that, you want to use that movement to direct the stick. It's like your arm begins the movement, but your wrist finishes it off. It completes the motion, and then this bounce returns the stick to home position. Okay? So practice that paradiddle a few times. Once you feel like you're starting to get it under control and, and the sticks are kind of feeling like they're doing what you want them to do, that's when you want to grab one of these. This is a metronome, and this is very important to start practicing with a metronome right off the bat so that you really get used to it. And a metronome is just a box that goes click, all right? And it keeps you in time. So what I'm going to do is play that paradiddle. Now I've got a rhythm to play to it. So I can follow the click. When I play the paradiddle, all right, and that'll keep you on point. It'll build up your internal sense of rhythm. Um, but it's really important at the beginning to always practice with a metronome because you really want to reinforce that. Something that tends to get glossed over when people are first starting out and they're learning just the techniques and the musculature and stuff like that. They kind of forget that they have to stay on top of the tempo as well. Drums are a rhythm instrument. You have to maintain a steady tempo. You got to be even everything that you do. That's pretty much the basic stuff. You know, you want to just make sure the stuff that we're doing on the pad before we go to sit down on the kit, you just want to make sure you got your hands going, you're comfortable with the stroke, and you're starting to get not necessarily speed, but just some dexterity built up. Now you're starting to feel comfortable with the sticks. And again, you're getting that bounce, that rebound is happening the way you want it to. Alright? And once you feel comfortable with that, you can pretty much go on and get behind your kit and start working on the stuff that we're going to talk about in the second half of the video.